a room tour. I am moving out in less than two months at the time of filming this, and so I want to remember what my room looks like 10 years down the line when I'm a grandma and I have grandkids. I'm like, yo, what's the vlog I made a few decades ago? Nothing very juicy or spicy has happened in this room, just lots of tears and YouTube videos I've been watched. Anyways, let's get started. Don't forget me. I was just listening to Lana Del Rey before this, so. I am starting at the entrance of my room. I even added a cool door handle that the rest of the house does not have. That's how much detail I put into this place. You enter on in, and here is the layout of my room. Over here I have my gaming area, because if you didn't know, I'm a Roblox YouTuber, so I need a specific place to film videos. I have my bed, and then over here I have the rest of my room, like my bathroom and my closet. At my door I have this Polaroid wall, with fan art and then memories. This is me when I was younger with my dad, me with a friend at elementary school. And then over here is my closet next to a whole line of Polaroids, all of my long sleeve shirts and jackets. I have my short sleeve shirts in here, miscellaneous things in this, a shoe collection, miscellaneous stuff like my trash can. And then up here is my nicer shoes that I like to display along with some purses and my bulletin board full of jewelry. Jewelry. Surprisingly enough, I had probably two times this amount of jewelry, but I'm getting rid of it and just giving it to friends. So if you would like any of the stuff in my room and you know me personally, um, let me know and I'll ship this stuff to your house. I have this macrame thing on my wall, got it on Amazon. And then the door to my bathroom has these LED lights, which kind of broke, but we ain't gonna mention this. Got my cat's food down there. That's also not gonna be mentioned. Over here, I looked far and wide to find this ladder shelf. I finally found it on Home Depot. I love it. Here is a fake cactus plant. All of the plants in my room, of course, are fake because I cannot keep a plant alive for the life of me. Got Dollar Tree candles and then my YouTube plaque, which is the center of my room, my proudest possession. We have the A that Ash sent me probably in 2020. Down here, this is a license plate box from the YouTube. Utah license plate, my favorite. And then it just holds all of my sunglasses. Over here is miscellaneous crystals, because for a while I was collecting them, you know, thinking they would heal me or something. Down here is the random to-go stuff, like masks, keys, wallets, pepper spray. And then this holds all of my makeup. And then down here is from when I used to roller skate. I have not roller skated in a hot second, so I'm definitely getting rid of these. <laughs> Over here is my little circle chair. I never sit here. I only do for YouTube videos, honestly. But it sits in this really cute corner because outside you can see that there are roses blooming. Somehow they like bloom all year. I'm not complaining though. And then I found these little photos while thrifting. Not the actual photos, but the frames. This is my Halloween costume. Me at a sleepover and then some friends and I camping. Over here, I found this on Amazon. I love it. There are little string lights on it too and it's super cute. And then over here is my side table. It's not a conventional side table because I have this like footstool and then I have a broken record player. Inside this record player is a bunch of mementos, cards from people. And then next to that is my bed. I hear something. Hello. Did you hear me talking bed? Come. Meow, do you wanna say hello? <laughs> Up here we have photos. I really like this one because it says, you were given this life because you were strong enough to live it. I printed that out while I was kind of going through anxiety and I didn't know what to do. And it's really helpful to read that and be reminded of it. On the other side of my bed, I am reading the second Hunger Games book. I love the Hunger Games series. I finally am starting to read them. I cannot believe it's taken almost 18 years of my life to start the series. If you haven't read these yet, I highly recommend it. Mwah. It's on this little poof and then this is also a knitted blanket that my grandma knitted. More Ikea plants, we have my slippers. And then that is next to my gaming desk thingabading. This takes up a very large hunk of my room. My mom thankfully gave me the biggest room in the house because she knew that I spend probably 24 seven in my bedroom. And she knows I need a specific area for my gaming stuff. We searched far and wide for this big L-shaped desk. We had to make it ourselves in a strange way. Like we bought this wood specifically, had to, cut it and shape it so we finally have it. It's it's very nice. I like it. I got a nice view of nothingness out my window, but my computer has this cute little background that I made myself. I have a 2024 vision board. I have my microphone stand, which I bring out when I'm filming. I got these really cute bubble candles from the Dollar Tree. Dude, Dollar Tree has some fine sometimes. I highly recommend going. I got these on Etsy, but they were kind of a ripoff because they don't really work as good cup holders or 
coasters, my PC. This is technically supposed to be a monitor, but I never plug it in, so it's just kind of dark. <laughs> but on top of it is my Nintendo Switch controller. We have another moon. I tend to have a theme, I guess. Got my 16th birthday Polaroids. I turn 18 in a few days, so it's kind of crazy that, wow, I've, time just flies. Here are some Polaroids that I printed out and made myself of fan art. I have a phone stand from Amazon. And then over here is a shelf from Ikea. And on top of it, I have a Polaroid that I never use. Uh, hi, my beautiful bubble sign. These are some gift notes that I got two years of doing Secret Santa with my friends. This is also my 2024 vision board. And this is my third year of doing vision boards. We have just some decor and then we have Dennis Daly as a little sticker just chilling. Down here we have my MacBook. This is where I edit my videos, like this vlog you're watching now. And then this is my journal, and I have to-do list, and then also daily diary entries. Here I made these squiggly candles myself. I found a tutorial on Pinterest. They didn't turn out too great. This one is about to break in half. Corner, I have my full-length mirror from Ikea. It has some vines wrapped around it because very teenage COVID core. Everyone was putting vines in the room, and the era still isn't over for me. Basket of blankets. This is the blanket I got in Nashville at Five Below store. I love this blanket so much. I'm never getting rid of it. I forgot to mention my wall is covered in fairy lights and I can change the colors of them and everything. They make my room feel kind of childish, but the lights are fun. <laughs> in the background of my videos, you look at a very simple plain dresser with a plant from Target, I believe. And then currently I am reading a page a day of this book from Gandhi and it just has a bunch of wise stuff in it. I got this mirror from Amazon. It's very scratched and beat up, but I never really use it. Ray rug, which used to be under my bed, but I moved it here to the center of my room and I like it a lot more. The mysterious curtain that no one knows what's behind this. Cause every time people ask me, I joke about it because I'm not gonna ever say. <laughs> Should I open it? I'm gonna open it and blur it. <laughs> Nobody shall know what's behind here. It's kind of messy. So there's a reason that is closed. Beyond this door is my bathroom. Very privileged to have my own ensuite bathroom. This has been a dream of mine since I could remember. So thank you mom for letting me have this room. My vanity, brushes, I have all my cables here, all the different USB, C, whatever's, whatever's. My lip glosses and such, and jewelry is all in there on top of my jewelry in my closet. But my mirror is directly in front of my toilet, which makes a lot of awkward eye contact whenever I'm doing the, you know, walk in shower. Got a little loofah, you know, the usuals. And then I have one of these fun showers that are like rain. My friend Nicole gave this to me as a Secret Santa gift. My robe, a gift from my mom's friend. Oh, oh, there goes the gift from my mom's friend. And that is it for my bathroom. Very simple, but that's also going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me give a little room tour for memory's sake. And maybe this was a little bit inspirational or if you're redoing your room and such. I am sad to say goodbye to a lot of this furniture. Actually, all of this furniture I'm selling and I'm gonna be starting brand new. So good, thank you furniture for doing a job. Anyways, guys, it's gonna be it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more and I will see you all later. Bye guys. Mwah.